Ah, oh my God. What is on my neck? Oh my God, this hurts so bad. Ah. Uh. Let's be friends. Ah! 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 What the f Oh my gosh. I was scratched. I was marked by a dark entity. I was marked by a demon. Can you please give me a sign and let me know that you're here? What the hell? Oh my gosh. There's like music coming from that room right there. Who's in there? Oh yeah, I don't know if I could do this. I literally don't know if I could do this. <laughs> the video that you're about to watch has footage from the night where I was attacked. I was scratched. I was marked by a dark entity. I was marked by a demon. To this day, I still have the mark on the back of my neck. It still hurts by touch. And you know, this is something that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Um, I couldn't stay another minute inside of this location. And you'll see that in this video, I ended up running out of this place. Uh, it was one of those places that I felt as if I stayed another minute, I don't know what could have happened. So I ended up running, screaming, leaving, and you say what you want about me, say whatever you want, but wait until you watch the video before you judge, because like I said, this is something that I, I will never forget. Hell, I couldn't even record an intro in this location. That's why I'm doing it in my own house right now. How scared I was. I, you know what? I'm just going to let the footage speak for itself. I'm going to just let that do its thing. With that being said, if you want to show your appreciation to not only me, but the channel by smashing that like button, it would mean the absolute world to me. Uh, truly, it's such a small gesture that goes a very, very long way. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel and help me reach my goal of 500,000 subscribers. It, it would mean a lot, but I believe that's everything I needed to say. So I'm off to bed. And with that being said, take a look at the night where I was attacked, where I was marked by a demon. <sighs> All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, tonight I'm going to be staying inside of this very old Victorian style mansion, haunted mansion. Completely alone. Um, or at least I thought I was gonna be alone. That's a good start. Well, all right. Uh, you say that there's a dark entity here. If there's someone here with me right now, can you please give me a sign to let me know that you're here? Uh, what the hell? Oh, guys? The light is on 100%? The, the light is literally on 100% battery. I'm holding the base of my camera in my hand. My... Thank you, I guess. Um, holy shit. Okay, so I'm want to tell you a little bit about this place because first and foremost this haunted victorian mansion was built in the 1880s so that's almost 150 years of history deaths murders exorcisms you name it happened here so it's very possible and very very likely that there is a dark entity here it makes a whole lot of sense so that just said likely And one thing that they said about this place is, show. oh my God, show. One thing that they said about this place is it sat abandoned for quite a long time and it was unable to sell because everyone knew of everything that happened here and all the haunted history. And eventually some investors came that are skeptics, don't believe in the paranormal. They do now. But um, when they came in to purchase the home, there were handprints like everywhere on every mirror, every 
window and they say that even if they clean them, the handprints will show back Someone's up. Watching. Okay, so if you can at any point in the night, um, use the mirrors like the homeowners say you can to show yourself, please do so. So there's mirrors everywhere, but I'm asking for this one. Clearly, things are starting off on a very crazy note. So, yeah, let's take a little look at this place. Is there anybody here with me right now? Wow, this place is so beautiful. Now, you're gonna notice something. It is very modernized, right? The people who came in, the investors, they saw this as a money pit, right? Uh, they just decided to completely flip it upside down and turn it into something where they can sell or rent out to somebody and make money, right? While they were fixing this place up, they were experiencing some insane things and they actually got to fixing just about almost every room except the exorcism room. They refuse to touch that room because they say that there's something so dark and evil there that they aren't able to even do anything in there without something either attacking them, scratching them. It's crazy. So we'll tell the full story in a sec, but just look at this place. If I showed you some of the photos of this place before the investors renovated, you probably wouldn't even recognize this place. Look at this grandfather clock. So I was just in here um, before I started filming now because I was doing a reaction video right there. So as you can see, it's all my equipment and whatnot. Um, pretty crazy stuff, pretty crazy stuff. But that's a bathroom. This is the kitchen. All new kitchen, all new nice stuff. Nice to meet you. Okay. Um, it's nice to meet you as well. Now, these are stairs to upstairs. However, I think I'm gonna take the other stairs over there because you'll, you'll see why, you'll see why. But yeah. Um, Listen, spirits, I'm going to be here by myself for the next 12-ish hours, and we're really going to get to know each other very, very well. And if you have any information you want to share with me, please do so, so I could tell your story, I could share your... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Bernice. All right. That was quick. I said, I'll share your story, Bernice. So, nice to meet you, Bernice. I said, my name's Yasko. So, clearly, everything's checking out so i actually wasn't sure what this door over here was yeah let's look at that antique kind of clock hello okay hold on bernice is that you i hear something uh, okay, okay, I'm watching out. Bernice, is that you? It sounds like it's coming from in that room. Hello? Right, I'm literally scared that like... Bernice, was that you? Can you let me know? Or was that the dark entity? Or are you the dark entity, Bernice? <laughs> trying to keep the spirits high right now because um, this is such a dark place to the point where it definitely makes a lot of sense. Look at the stained glass. It's so beautiful. All right, I'm coming up. Is there anybody up here? Oh my God. No way. Hello? That was a door. Hello? Bro, there's a damn handprints on the damn. Oh my God, dude, my heart right now is racing out of my damn chest. My heart is like, 
Who's over there? Julia. Okay, Julia. You got my attention, Julia. Is there anything that you want to share with me? A lot of religious items. Oh, I can't show those cheeks. Ah, censor, please, Jazz, when you're editing, censor the booty cheeks, please, for the love of the month. Okay, something wants me upstairs, something wants me downstairs. Do you want me to come upstairs? Oh my god. I've only just started filming and I just asked if the spirit could reveal itself to me or show me that it's here and right away it shuts off my camera light. Come to find out in a little bit that my camera light was on 100% battery when that happened. So whatever is here definitely revealed itself to me. It responded to me basically, which shows that whatever is here is very strong and uh, come to find out later, it's, it's a dark entity. All right, well... Clearly something or someone wants me to come up there. <sighs> Here I come. The weird thing about this place is, although some information was found, yes. that's crazy that I just got a name when I was just about to say something. Although a lot of information was found about what happened here, there were never any names found of who was killed here, who passed here, who was exercised here. And we were hoping that I could figure that out today. You know, and right when I'm about to say that, Florence, so thank you so much. Oh my God, that freaks me the hell out because that's literally what I was explaining when I first got here is handprints. Is anybody up there? Would you help? Yeah, I would love to help. I would love to share your story. That's a nice bathroom. Is anybody... Look at that, guys. This is a perfect example of modernization in regards to a home like this. A home that has so much history, a home that has so much to tell. And then investors come in here who see a money pit and then just basically do whatever the hell they want to it. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with arcade games, but it just, maybe that's what's upsetting the spirits. Maybe that's why they're so dark. I don't know. I don't know, but let's take a look at, I mean, look at this wallpaper. This is just absolutely beautiful. The yellow gold kind of thing. Hello? Who's in there? Look at this damn door now too. Holy shit. Oh, that's a weird smell. Um, this must have been like some sort of bathroom or something. I'm just looking based on the paper there, but. <sighs> okay. Um, anybody in this mirror right here that could maybe give me a handprint or something to show me that you're here? What the hell? Was that? Footsteps. Yeah, that's definitely what it sounded like. Nice bathroom. Some cool games though, Pac-Man, Mortal Kombat, Space Invaders. Maybe I'll play some of this later. Is there anybody in this room over here? I heard footsteps. Can you show yourself? We settled here. Okay. And I'm so sorry to hear about everything else that went on here. Can you please give me a sign and let me know that you're here? What the hell? Oh my gosh. What?
Oh. Okay. Okay. Remember what I said about how the spears might feel about this stuff? Okay. This house is almost 150 years old, and in those years, a lot of things have happened. People have lived here, people have died here, an exorcism was performed, so we know a little bit of information. However, we don't know the fine details. We don't know any names. We don't know the ages of the people who passed. We don't know too much. Once again, a lot of that was faded when this information was dug up and found. However, it seems that whatever is here is very unhappy, is very distressed, and maybe when the investors came in and purchased this house, they disrupted something. They disrupted their sleep, their peace, and maybe it wants revenge on... And I almost feel like that's like a confirmation, like, yep, you're right. Holy shit. Anyone that would like to make themselves known? Anybody sitting in that chair right there? Okay, those look like kids' beds. And if I remember correctly, let me take my phone with me. If I remember correctly, the kids' room is where they said the exorcism was performed. That's where the investors that purchased this home were attacked when they were trying to remodel it and they decided to just not remodel it at all. Trigger. What the fuck? Trigger. Did something trigger? The attack. But this looks more new than anything, so I'm not quite sure. Is there anybody in here? What the hell? Okay, that came from there. Oh my gosh. That's a little door. Is there anybody beyond this door? I like talking. Okay. Um, share your story with me. Share, share what's going on. Hello? Is there anybody here? Bro, I'm hearing things. Oh my gosh. Alice. Okay. Was Alice the one who had an exorcism in this room? Cause let me tell you something. Oh my gosh. Okay. The room that wasn't remodeled, this literally looks like there's just a bunch of things tossed in here. If this is that room, the investors were attacked here. They were scratched by whatever the hell is in here. That's what made them believers of the paranormal. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I even wanna try to go in here. To be completely transparent with you guys. Ellis, do you want me to come in this room? Hello? Maybe I should take a little peek. Yeah, look at the lights up here. Old like Phillips lights. And another door over here. Ah! What the fuck? No! No! Viking. Oh gosh, guys. But it literally sounds like something's walking in this room right now. Who? Is there anybody in this room with me right now? Is 
Anybody in this room? What the fuck? As a matter of fact, I probably shouldn't go in here so it doesn't close on me and lock me in here. Forward. Yeah, you know what? Good, good call. Forward it is. However the hell you lock this thing. Oh, I'm sweating right now. I'm sweating, freaked out. And you know what? This place has activity is already through the roof. And here's the thing, guys, let's talk a little bit about a couple of things, right? Um, why I'm alone tonight? Uh, so if you're familiar with this channel, uh, welcome back. If you're not, my name is Yasko, and I like to investigate a lot of haunted locations and what, no, hello? Um, however, I usually have a partner, his name is Ben, who comes with me on these locations, and the last location we filmed that, Ben was attacked by whatever was in that house. Ben had a really bad nosebleed, took a break, came back into the house, and then threw up the blood. It was pretty damn bad, and I decided to take him home. He called into work the next two days. He has a full-time job, and he's just relaxing right now. He's still not feeling 100%. It would be selfish of me to invite him to come here and, God forbid, put himself in another uncomfortable position and maybe get attacked again. It's, it's unfair of me, right? The thing about Ben is he's a go-getter. If I... Sure. It was almost like right when I said Charles, I thought I heard like a voice coming from down there. Holy shit! Charles, I hear you loud and clear, pal. What I was gonna say, Ben's a go-getter. Thing about Ben is if I even mentioned that I was coming to film here, he would have he would have said that he's coming and he would have loved to come and he would have put himself out there because he genuinely just loves filming and making content for you guys, making you guys happy. So I decided to not even tell him that I was going to film today because once again, I just want him to heal up. So that's why I'm alone right now. I might be alone for a while. I don't know, but until he feels okay, I'm going to be alone. And golly, I really wish I wasn't right now. Okay, um, I'm gonna go get the rest of my equipment, guys. Get it ready, get some other things, and um, oh shit. And um, we'll get back to filming. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Charles, if you wanna show yourself throughout any point of the night, please do so. That's from upstairs, okay. Let me get my stuff. What? Wait, what the? Whoa, whoa. Hall. Wait, guys, that's not the correct time. Why did that just chime? What is going on right now? Okay, I need a drink. What the? F is going on? Bro, what is going on right now? That's twice now. Oh, my Lanta. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry for screaming, I'm sorry for freaking out. I know you headphone users probably hate me right now. However, this, the things that are going on are so hard to comprehend. It's literally one thing after another after another and the spirit box is so accurate, it is insane. I don't even know what to, I can't process all of this at once. And you know, when, when I'm focused on one thing, this is happening and there's a lot going on and I feel like whatever is in this house is trying to tell me to get the f out. Okay guys, um, if you thought this video wasn't crazy or scary enough yet, 
I decided to shut off all the lights in this house, take out my night vision camera, and just go completely lights out with recording. Now, I know how crazy this sounds, Who's there? We're gonna go investigate that in a second. I was gonna say, um, I know this sounds crazy, but if you guys could just very nicely smash the like button for my craziness, I'd very much appreciate it. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh. Now here's the thing. I'm pretty damn scared and I'm alone. Okay, um, I was gonna say, clearly there's something very dark here, some dark entity, and it's powerful. The reason I say that is it's, it's powerful enough to shut off my equipment, start up some game upstairs. It's, it's, it's clearly able to manipulate electronics very easily. So with that being said, um, I also wanted to show you something because when I switched to this camera, I noticed this. So this is my other camera right here with my other light right up top. If you look on the top right, that's the battery life. It's at 100%. So something shut off my light at 100%, which is absolutely crazy. Now, it makes a lot of sense because if it's powerful enough to do that, it's powerful enough to shut off or turn on the gaming stuff up there. So I thought to myself, since you guys love it so much, I'll bring the REM pod and we'll fire this up probably in the center of the house and we'll see what we can capture maybe. So is there anybody in this? Main room right here. So put this right here. What the? We make the noises. Okay. We make the noises. Um, I want to show you guys something quick. I'm gonna see if I could just shut off the night vision for one second. Cause oh my gosh, outside it is so damn foggy. It really brings another sense of horror. So this, to this house, to this location. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up this REM pod. And, um, okay, okay. So clearly there's something here. Let's place this right here. So I'm gonna turn up the range. So see, as you can see, if I touch this, it goes off, but I'm gonna turn it up to here. So if you, even in the vicinity, it will go off. Spirits. If you can come near this, come into this room, let me know that you're here. I'd really appreciate it. <sighs> when I first came into this house, was this door not wide open? Because first things first, I don't even remember remotely closing this. I don't remember this closing at all or hearing it close. There's something over there. Hold on. I'm gonna leave my phone right here. What the f is going on in there? Oh. Ah. Is there anybody in this room? Need help. Need help. Okay. Who do you need help from? Good question, I think. Whew. All right. So I'm getting like a little dizzy right now. I'm kind of freaked out because when I thought about uh, how the people who bought this house said what they experienced when they were in that exorcism room, First thing that happens when I get in there is it closes in on me. And I mean, hey, maybe maybe something's trapped in there. And maybe it's trying to like switch places. I don't know. That's just a theory. It's a weird theory, but maybe it's a theory. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm really, really bad at theories sometimes. And you guys are much, much better. But hello? You guys, one thing I've noticed about this house is that every single clock in this house is wrong. It is not 620. 
And this certainly isn't even remotely correct. The children are listening. The children are listening. Okay. The children are listening. Can you give me a sign to let me know that you're here? Can you give me some sort of... Are you in the children's room? I'm hearing all sorts of sounds right now. Let's be friends. Ah! 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 What the f Oh my gosh. Jesus, I'm chilling with you right now, my man. My golly, let's be friends. Though if you could hear my heart right now, my heart's like beating out of my chest right now. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna be honest guys, I'm only staying in here because the light on this cabinet is on and I'll, I'll chill here all day, I don't give a damn. Who's over there? Friends don't do that shit to each other. Do do not. We're not on that level yet. We're not on that level of closeness. You don't do that. I don't even know what the fuck happened in there. All I heard was something like fall over. Hello? It's awfully quiet in there now. Hello? Purple hair. Okay. Purple hair. That hasn't went off yet, by the way. What even? Oh, oh my God. Uh, guys? The plate broke. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to clean that up in a second. You said let's be friends and you just broke that in front of me. Listen, footsteps right above me. Who is that? I'm gonna let you say one thing. One thing before I go upstairs. I'm just, eyes are like interlocked with the spirit talker right now. Let's just say one last thing before I go upstairs. Okay, I'm freaking the fuck out. What the hell's going on right now? Okay, but, but let's not even remember the fact or forget the fact, I mean, that the damn clock went off. Um, Lillian. Oh God, Lillian. Okay, Lily. And um, I don't know if we're on a nickname basis yet. Uh, apparently we're on breaking plates in front of each other's faces, uh, phases of the friendship, but I don't know if we're on the nickname phase, so I'll, I'll continue to call you Lillian. Um, Lillian, I'm going to head upstairs now. Um, if there's anything that you want to share with me, and I'm going to be honest, guys, I think that something is trying to bring me upstairs, because even if it was here, that would have went off at least once. At least once. So... Okay, um, you're coming with me, and we're going upstairs. 
And you know what? I think I'm gonna go upstairs this way. Hello? Lillian, you up there? I've been investigating the paranormal for about seven months now, and I've experienced, you know, music devices going off on numerous occasions. It's one of those things that doesn't get easier because you don't know if maybe someone who did pass here, maybe it's their property from long ago, and maybe it's them turning it on for old times sakes, right? Maybe it's something lurking in the darkness trying to lure you in. I don't know. However, I don't like it. And soon enough, you'll see that it definitely does take a toll on me, for sure. Lillian. Try not to bust my ass, guys. Please understand. I can only see what's through this little screen. Oh my gosh. Lillian, are you in this room? Why is it so blurry right now? Oh my gosh. Lillian, are you here? I'm over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. That is clear as day. And it's responding to me so accurately. It, it's, it's horrifying. Like, I'm sorry. I'm over here. Lillian, are you in the exorcism room? Do you want me to come in? He just said hear us and I'm hearing music. I'm trying not to literally run out of this house right now, guys. I hope you understand. Guys. There's like music coming from that room right there. Who's in there? Oh yeah, I don't know if I could do this. I literally don't know if I could fucking do this. Are you in this room? Can you, can you show yourself in this mirror? Can you make a hand print? Right? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Analyze. Yeah, I'm trying to right now. I thought I saw something. Yeah, yeah, look. It's very faint with the night vision camera. You could see fingers. Okay. Analyze. Hold on. What if it's trying to draw me in here? Because of that. Oh, it's open. Oh my God, it's open. Okay. Is anybody in here? Lillian, are you in here? I'm zooming in. Lillian, are you in here? Can you, oh, can you, oh my god, this thing touched my arm.
Okay. Um, that happened. Okay, um, I'm so confused. I'm so confused because I'm gonna have a seat right here if that's okay, spirits. Carol. Okay, Carol. Um, are you here with me in this room right now? I can't fucking move right now, guys. I can't fucking move. I'm fucking crying right now. Okay. Okay, Carol. Sounds good. It's good to know you're here. Um, I just realized something. What if Carol means like, like song? Carol, right? And that just sang a song? That's just a long shot theory, but... Um, do you want me to come to the exorcism room? This was a tricky situation. I can tell that there was something dark within this room within this exorcism room. However, it's almost like something was pulling me in. It's almost like I needed to go in there. And soon enough, I suffer the consequences for doing so. And I was marked by whatever's in that room, marked by a demon, if you will. Okay, guys, I'm trying to keep my composure right now. Uh, every time I think that I'm okay. I'm regaining my composure. Uh, something happens that just makes me lose my damn mind. Um, so, um, Lillian, were you the one who turned on the music? That came from down there. Um, who was that? I'm really wondering right now if that was from the exorcist room. Or exorcism room, sorry. Um, I'm gonna let you say one thing before I move from here because I'm telling you right now, if that's trying to draw me in over there, I won't be having any part of it. Brett, it literally felt like something, like just- Raymond. Stepped right next to me, Raymond. Okay. Um, all right. Here's what I'm gonna. Okay. I thought I saw something back there freaking out. I'm gonna switch over to my LiDAR app. Now, for those who don't know what LiDAR is, um, every new phone has it. It's a little thing right here that you see probably blinking. That's a LiDAR thing. And if I point it towards the wall, for example, you see all these dots of light. Essentially, that's mapping things out, right? So if I point it at my face right here, it's mapping my face out, my body out. Um, actually, a good way to show you is in the mirror right here. So if you see, I am blue. I think that has something to do with blood and how temperature, body temperature is. But as you can see, everything else is red. But is there anyone in this room right here? I heard something. I heard something like step right next to me. So if I'm going to be honest. I kind of want to try this in that room right there. But I will when I come back. <sighs> you know what's the scariest thing about this app that like I genuinely fear? Um, what if like for example right here, you see how it's like a black like pit of emptiness? What if like I just seen like a figure just sprint towards me? I think that would be the last day. I was gonna say I felt probably my life <laughs> now that I think about it. Um, anybody downstairs? Show yourself. Anybody in this room? I want to get to the exorcism room, I'll be honest, guys. What the? Oh! Oh my gosh! What the hell was that? I'm hearing all sorts of things right now. Oh my f Dude, I'm freaking out. I'm literally 
tripping balls right now. The remote is right there. Okay, explain, explain, please. Okay, Jazz. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm good, I'm good. I promise I'm good, I promise I'm good. Uh, clearly whatever's here is able to manipulate electricity, right? We seen it with my camera light, we seen it with the toys right there, now we're seeing it with the TV, right? So we know that something's here, something's, something's strong, okay? Jazz, you're good, you're good, Jazz, come on. You got this. Um, okay. Anybody here? Anybody downstairs? Wow. Something about this room. I'm genuinely concerned about opening this door right now. I'll be 100% honest with you guys. I'm like really, really scared to do so. This seems like one of those things where like, you kind of fuck around and find out, you know what I mean? Um, if I remember correctly, there it is. Okay. Who's in there? I heard some sounds coming from over here. Anybody in here? You know what guys, I have an idea. There's like a specific red mark right there. Nowhere else down here. Almost like something's right, kind of went away actually. Um. Okay, guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get my tripod, my main camera, and I want to do a full spirit box session in this room. I know how dumb that probably sounds. I get it. However, I want to try. So, um, actually, while I'm going downstairs, I think I'm going to lock it just to be safe. Where I put the, oh, the keys in the door. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go get my other stuff. I wanna do a full necrophonic session of just basically everything. I thought I heard something over here. I have a feeling, this is a really bad idea, but I have a feeling too that maybe I should be doing this for the family or for not even the family, for the investors that own this place that want answers. So let's give this a go. All right guys, so um, it's time to do the seance inside of the exorcism room. I have everything ready. Uh, I actually have another camera set up right there in case the door closes one more time. I even have the REM pod right here, spirits, so in case you want to get near it, make it go off. And I will have the necrophonic running while I go inside of there and uh, hopefully get some answers from the spirits, why they attacked the current investors or homeowners, however you want to look at it, and um, exactly what happened. So maybe get some more names. Here we go. So I could close it behind me. I should probably bring this with me. Can I unlock it from the inside? I can. In case it does lock on me, I'm bringing this with me. So that's in my pocket. Um, here we go. I just, I just heard he's evil. The first thing I said. Who's evil? 
I'm coming in. Okay. Who's in this room with me right now? Here. Who's here? Okay. Go ahead and close this. That's your demon. Okay. Is a demon here with me? You'll see. Did it just say you'll see? Okay. Um, I'm gonna have this set up right now. Okay. I'm gonna see if maybe the stuff is in this room or even this room. So we'll see. Um, so an exorcism was performed here. That just said, yes, I know. Okay, um. What was the name of the person who had the exorcism performed on them? Me? What's your name? Listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to upset you. I'm, I'm here to share your story. I know people came in here and changed everything around, changed your home around, but I'm here to, to, to hear you out. So if you can share your story for me, I'd really appreciate it. The REM pod went off. Okay, something's coming. Something's coming. Maybe me saying that I'll share their story makes them a little bit happy. Okay, that's good. Demon? There. Are you in this room or the room behind me? Here. Here. Wow. Here, again. Okay. Okay, that's, uh, that's good. Okay. Understandable. Did you die during the exorcism? Die. Now the rem keep in mind when the REM pod was downstairs, it did not go off once. Not once. Um do you know what year it was when you died? It said virgin. Now here's the thing, earlier it called me a virgin. The spear box literally said virgin. I don't know if that has any relation to anything. So jazz. Okay. You know me. I introduce myself. Can you introduce yourself to me? I'm. Demon. Do you want to hurt the investors again, the two gentlemen that purchased this home? I wonder if that's a response as well, like, yes. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Hi, um, I don't like the feeling in here. There's a really thick, thick feeling. Do you want to hurt me? I said go through. Do you want me to come in this room? Hold on, I just literally heard something in this room from the other, like on the opposite side of these mattresses. I sort of got it, just heard something. Who was that? Okay, you keep saying me, but you're not giving me a name. Uh, 
Were you once a human? I keep hearing demon and the thing is like, that's so vague. I don't know if I should say this. I don't know if I believe you that you're a demon. I have a feeling you're just trying to scare me. Demon. You keep saying it over and over again, but I don't believe you. Did I just say you're going to find out? Here. Who's here? Who's in there? Demon. Demon. It is the demonic entity, the dark entity in here? In there. Oh my gosh. Do I even dare bring this inside? Yes. Alright, I'm coming in, I'm coming in. I'm gonna regret this morning. Close this door. Who's here? Who's in this little cubby room? Oh, I don't feel good right now, guys. Okay, okay, who's doing that? Who just opened that door? Ah, f oh, f oh, oh, ah, shit. Oh, my God. F oh, ah, oh, my God. What is on my neck? Oh my god, what is on my neck? Ah, f that burns. Oh, I can't even see right now. Oh, oh shit. Ah, oh my god, this shit hurts so bad. Ah, getting out of here. Oh. Ah, f Oh, who did that? Mom? Evil? Oh. oh, dude. Ah, that hurts so bad. Hold on. Turn this off for a sec. See if I can take a picture. Oh! Is this front camera? Yeah. Oh. Holy shit. Okay. My neck is completely red. Ah, damn, that shit hurts so bad. Oh. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, my. F Oh. 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 oh my fucking god, these are so okay, hold on. Oh it it's literally like swelling on my damn neck right now. 
I'm gonna go hop in the shower in a second on oh, really, really cold. Sh oh my God, bro, it is constantly, it just feels like my neck is throbbing right now. Holy shit, it hurts so bad. Ah, uh, um, I have my mic here. Listen guys, I'm gonna go take a really, really cold shower. Oh, it hurts so fucking bad. I've never experienced a pain like this where just throbbing, throbbing, throbbing. It feels like it's just like my neck is on fire right now. So excuse me, I'm gonna take a break. I need it. I'll see you guys maybe when I feel better. I don't know, but I need to take a shower. Ice, ice cold shower right now. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Holy shit. Oh my God. I see it in the mirror. Oh my God. Okay guys, I'm freaking out a little bit because the REM pod just went off coming from the room that's right next to the exorcism room. My neck is absolutely killing me. Um, I don't know if it's getting any better. I really hope so, but I just took an ice cold shower. Not my hair, just, just rinsed my body hopefully to cool myself down, but getting out, I, I feel like my whole body is just hot right now. And 1900s. Did the exorcism happen in the 1900s? It's possible, right? My my spear talker's in my pocket right now. Um, to show you. 1900s. Um, okay, well. Is there anybody in that room right now? The REM pod's going off. The REM pod's going off. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna come in. Oh my God, be careful, okay. Um, okay, something's trying to protect me from something in that room. And I really appreciate it after what I just experienced with my damn neck. Um, I'm this close to leaving, but I need my REM pod. So I'm gonna, I will be careful, I promise. Thank you, whoever's protecting me. There it is. There's the REM pod. I just want to make sure something. I want to make sure that this is... Okay, thank God, because I was, I was really starting to freak out. Okay, um, loud and clear. Loud and clear. You have my attention. You have my attention. Scar. No way. Scar. The spirit box just said scar after I'm right next to the room. That gave me a scar. You know what, spirits? Listen. Thank you for communicating with me. Um, however, it's clear to me that there's something beyond dark here. The, the people who owned this house were scratched. Now I am over here scratched in the, probably the same room. I don't know if they went into that room over there. I, the, the thing is like the door opened literally. We're at peace. We're at peace. So the people who are protecting me, I think are the ones at peace. However, I'm almost feeling like this. Something here is messing with me hardcore. I'm gonna end this session right now. I'll close my app, put my phone away. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest, guys, I, I have my keys because I, I'm ready to leave right now. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, for, for myself, I would love to stay the night and give you guys the best quality content I can. I know I'm alone right now. I'm doing my best, I'm, I'm trying. However, I just don't know if I have it in me. Oh, I'll be, um, I can maybe give it a shot. I can maybe try, but um, if, if I do, it won't be anywhere near this room, I don't think. I think I'll probably be in one of the other rooms. Um, so yeah. Ah, my God, it hurts so bad. It literally is killing me. And I love how the spear box just loves to rub it in my face and say scar. All right, well, I have a decision to make, and um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, figure things out. Listen, guys, I, I have a decision to make. I, I'm I'm in pain. My neck is just constantly throbbing. It feels like it's on fire. Clearly marked by something that's in this house. Uh, I I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, right? I'm six and a half hours away from home, so the decision right now is do I leave, do I stay, do I do this? I, I don't know. I have to make this decision now, right? I'm worried that if I start driving home, I'll start hallucinating and, and maybe fall asleep while I drive. It happened to me one of the last times I filmed and thankfully I'm okay, but like it could have it could have been really bad. So I've always told myself that I'm gonna try my best to get at least some sleep at locations. However, I'm horrified right now. I, I'm, I'm absolutely terrified. I don't wanna go to sleep upstairs especially. You know, I don't, I, God forbid, you know, the only room to sleep in was that kid's room. I, I, I don't know how I'd do it. But luckily, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get nice and comfy on this living room couch down here and call it a night, right? And it, the thing that sucks about what I do is there's always two sides of the, like, two choices I have to make, right? I leave and then I get criticized for everything, right? I'm a wuss. I'm not cut out for this. I'm, a, I'm not a real paranormal investigator. I'm not this, I'm not that. And the list goes on and on and on. People are so judgmental, right? They're not in this situation. They're not, they're not handling the, this. They're not here alone. And it, it's so easy to judge behind a, a screen, right? Or on the other hand, I stay here and then I risk everything, right? I risk myself. I risk this, I risk that. And this is one of those situations where like, I'm genuinely scared. I, I like all shit aside, I am absolutely horrified. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, guys. So I'm going to try to rest. And as soon as the sun comes up, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. So, um, yeah. So let me set my alarm quick. All right. Good night, guys. I will see you in the morning. Oh, dear gosh. Guys, I swear to God, I'm gonna leave this fucking house. I swear to God, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I refuse to vote. Oh my god, the light just shut off. Why did the light just shut off? Okay. Who's there? Oh my god, I was knocked over. Oh. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I can fucking do this. Oh no, 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 Stop, stop. I, 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 I don't know if I could do I, I'm legit. I, I, I can't do this right now. I can't do this right now. I'm going downstairs. I, I, I listen, I, 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 I do. I'm so scared. I'm literally, I, I just want to. Oh, dude, I'm having like a fucking panic attack. Nah, fuck this. Come on. Come on, Jazz. Come on, Jazz. Come on, Jazz. No, you know what? No. I 
I'm so... I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Come on, Jazz. You got this. It stopped. Whatever's trying to lure me upstairs is not going to happen. Listen, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to check the time right now. You know what, guys? That's it. Curtain call for me. I'm done. That was my, that was my wake up call. I'm good. I'm good. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't. Listen, guys, uh, I, I can't do this. I, I'm in so much damn pain. I genuinely feel like my neck's on fire. No matter how much damn Tylenol I've taken, I, I, I it hurts. I, I'm scared. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't want to be here. I tried my best. I tried. And that's, that's where it's going to end. I'm sorry. And if that makes me a wuss, if that makes me whatever, not cut out for this, that's completely fine. But I, I'm, I can't do this right now. There's something here. There's, there, something is going on in this house that is beyond, beyond anything that I can comprehend. And I don't even know what I was thinking coming in here. No, 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 Please, for the love of God, please, that legit just sounded like the door. No, 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 no. Please fucking no, man. I can't, I can't, I can't. I, I literally, like, I feel like I'm, I, I'm frozen right now. I, I can't even move my legs. Bro, where the hell is the key? I locked the door. I locked the damn door. The key is right there. Okay. No, 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 no. There. Whatever's locked in there, you can stay in there. I don't... I... What the fuck? It just sounds like something's scratching at the fucking door. No. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm done. I need my shit and I'm out of here.